Hello guys, I'm Nintendugo and today I will show you how to make your own RCM jig for your Nintendo Switch uh, without the need to buy anything at all. You will only need some paper clips, obviously, uh, some tweezers, uh, with, you can do it with just one, but <laughs> I'll use three for the sake of the video. Um, a ruler and this is optional, but you can use this uh, to make it smoother so that it um, can't scratch at all even if you screw up um, putting it in the Joy-Con rail. So let's start. First, we need to choose which paper clip are we going to use. Um, I put some here so that you can choose <laughs> uh, which ones are correct and which ones are not. This is obviously too big, so nah. Uh, this is kind of small, but it could be, but since it has this plastic cover, mm, you will need to remove it and that's extra work you will need to do, so nah. Uh, this one again is kind of small, so just these two. These are normal size paper clips and that's what we are going to use. This is what we are aiming for. Um, it is like 6.5 millimeters between this point and this point and that's what we want. So let's start, my god, <laughs> by grabbing our tweezers and you will need to bend this and cut here, like right here. There we go, and as you can see, that was not very smooth, so that's why I have this. And now you can see it's a little bit better. Now we are going to bend this part in an L shape. That's not really important, but it will be really useful for when you are putting this inside the rail, so if you imagine, <laughs> you can like do this, but if you have this L shape, you can easily do it. It doesn't matter how much you take, but just use your head, and more or less like that is okay. Oh, and before you actually bend it, make sure that this is straight and not like this or something like this make sure it is as straight here we go that's what you want and now grab like one or two millimeters more or less or even three Let me just, like that, more or less, and bend this slightly, not completely, like that. So that it looks more or less like this. And now comes the adjustment. Uh, you need to make it so that between this and this, as I said before, uh, there are 6.5 millimeters more or less. So uh, I need a little bit more. And that's when these tweezers come in the game. Um, instead of doing it like this, I like to use this. So that, see? And I can control a lot more how much do I open them. Uh, that's a little bit too much again. This is kind of trial and error. And once you get the correct opening, you 
can see they are really similar. Before I continue, um, I should tell you that even if your switch is patched, uh, which you can check uh, with your serial number, which you can find here in the link that I will leave you in the description, even if your switch is patched, you can still boot RCM mode. Uh, it will not be really useful because you won't be able to boot custom firmware and all that fun stuff, but all the Nintendo Switches can boot into RCM mode because that's how they put the firmware in the factory. If you have a flashlight or you can use uh, your phone torch, um, point, uh, uh, point there, your flashlight. Let me zoom. And, well, that will be kind of difficult to see. Well, you can see there that here are some pins. Um, our goal is to connect pins number one and number 10. Um, you can you do this by leaning, no, don't, do not slide this. Uh, you do this by leaning this just above those pins. Be careful not to touch pin number four because that can fry your switch. Um, so I will put it there and I'll be back. Again, this will be very, very difficult to show in camera, but um, in real life, it's not that difficult. Uh, you can see that, let me put some light here, too much. You can see the pins and the paper clip is touching pin number 10 and number one. Number one is the side of the screen, number 10 is the back part the rear part, sorry, <laughs> and just lean it. Do, do not slide it inside, like if it was a genuine RCM jig, like do not do this, well, because that will damage your pins if you just put it like this, so that it just barely touches the pins, it will minimize damage that you are doing to the pins. Again, Position your RCM jig that you just made so that it touches pin number one and number 10. Now press the volume up button and while you are pressing it, press the power button. And if you did it correctly, you should not see the Nintendo logo now. The screen should, should stay black. Uh, at this point, it is safe to remove the jig and you can now insert, oh my god, not again. <laughs> you can now inject a payload, sorry. Uh, you can do it with your computer, your phone, uh, but since I purchased this RCM loader, uh, which is very handy, you can get it uh, in AliExpress. If I just put it in the charging port while it is in RCM mode, it will automatically inject the payload. And as you can see, this boots Hecate. So thank you for watching the video. If it was useful for you, let me know. Leave a like, subscribe and all those things. I hope this tutorial was kind of better than the other one because the other one, to be honest, was kind of meh.